Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Maths class. This is first class in Relations and Functions chapter which is in 12th Mathematics. In this mainly two topics are there. One is relations, another one is functions. This relations and functions chapter you learn in class 11th also. This is class 12th relations and functions. First we will learn about relations. So before going to know the things what are there in class 12th relations, we will quickly recall what we learn in 11th class. So this is concept 1 in this relations functions chapter. In this class, we will learn about Cartesian product of sets and five important note points related to Cartesian product of sets. Next, we will learn what is relation and examples to understand the relation and two important note points. Cartesian product of sets. What is the definition of Cartesian product of sets? You take any two non-empty sets. Cartesian product of sets a comma b is denoted by a cross b. That means whenever you see this symbol, we read it as a cross b. This indicates that Cartesian product of sets a comma b. And a cross b is defined as set of all ordered pairs from a and b. Set of all ordered pairs from a and b. What it means? See, whatever definition is there here, this meaning I written in set builder form. You see, a cross b is set of, you see, a set of all ordered pairs. Ordered pairs such that first element is from first set, second element is from second set. You observe here, set a is 1 comma 2, set b is 3 comma 4 comma 5. Then, how to find a cross b and b cross a? After this example, you can easily understand how to calculate a cross b and what is Cartesian product of sets. See, if you want to calculate a cross b, first you write set a, 1 comma 2 cross set b. Set b is what? 3 comma 4 comma 5. How to calculate a cross b? You take one element in set a and you pair with all other elements in set b. That means 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5. 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5. Now you take second element and you pair with all elements of other set like 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5. Look here 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5. Okay. Now in this question b cross a is also there we need to calculate b cross a how to calculate b cross a first i'll write set b 3 4 5 cross set a 1 comma 2 now you take first element you pair with all the other elements in that other set like order pair 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 okay 3 comma 1 3 comma 2. Next, you take second element, you pair with all other elements in that other set. So, what you will get? You will get 4 comma 1, 4 comma 2. Okay. Similarly, you take the third element, you pair with all other elements in the other set. 5 comma 1, 5 comma 2. 5 comma 1, 5 comma 2. Here, you need to observe one thing. Here, set A contains two elements set b contains three elements a cross b contains how many elements you see here one two three four five six elements that means two into three total six elements will be there in a cross b you observe b cross a b contains three elements a contains two elements and b cross a contains six elements and one more thing a cross b b cross a they are not equal a cross b is not equal to b cross a you can see here order pair 1 comma 3 is there is order pair 1 comma 3 is there in this set no it itself indicates that these two sets are different so in general a cross b is not equal to b cross a let's see one small example see set a is like this set b is like this you need to calculate a cross b how to calculate a cross b you take one element from the first set and you pair with all other elements in the other set like 
a comma x a comma y a comma x a comma y now you take this element and you pair with all other elements what you will get b comma x b comma y okay so this is a cross b now what is b cross a you take first element you pair with all other elements x comma a x comma b okay now you take this element you pair with all other elements what you will get y comma a y comma b so now you know how to calculate a cross b b cross a or p cross q all those things you can calculate now we are in relations and functions chapter before going to know the definition of relation we learn what is meant by cartesian product of sets in this cartesian product of sets some note points are there you need to know see let's see the first note what is first note if set a has m elements set a contains m elements set b has n elements the number of elements in a cross b as we discussed for example you see in this example set a contains two elements set b contains two elements a cross b contains two into two four elements right so if set a is having m elements and set b is having n elements then number of elements in a cross b is what is mn look here mn okay the same thing we can write like this also set a contains m elements set b contains n elements number of elements in a cross b is mn okay and we already discussed at this point in general a cross b is not equal to b cross a and what is this note 3 note 3 is if either a or b is empty set then a cross b is a empty set I'll try to explain this. Suppose set A is like this, 1 comma 2, and set B is like this, empty set. Then if they ask us to calculate A cross B, what you will write? See, you take one element here and you pair with all the elements of this set. But in this set, there is no element to write. So in that case, either A or B is empty set. Either A is empty set or B is empty set. In that case, A cross B is a empty set this is the definition right either a or b is empty set then a cross b is a empty set similarly if either a or b is infinite set then a cross b is a infinite set for example set a is like this one set a is a, a comma b and set b is infinite set like one two three something like this then what is a cross b a cross b you take one element in this set and you pair with all these elements while pairing you can observe here infinitely many order pairs are coming so a cross b means what you will say a comma 1 a comma 2 a comma 3 a comma 4 it continues infinite set this point you observe either a or b is infinite set then a cross b is a infinite set and next important note point is if two order pairs are equal see here from this it indicates that corresponding coordinates are equal suppose first coordinate x equal to a see when they give like this from this we can conclude that x equal to a and y equal to b okay somewhere you saw something like this from this what you can say you can say that a value is 3 right and b value is 4 what is the definition of relation you see a comma b are any two sets you take any two sets a comma b then any subset of a cross b is called a relation from a to b here you need to know what is subset see when we say a set a is subset of set b if all the elements present in set a are present in set b then a is called subset of b for example, set A is like this, 1, 2, 3. Set B is like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is A is subset of B? When we say A is subset of B, all the elements present in set A are present in set B, then we call A is subset of B. 
yes all the elements which are in set a are in set b so we call a is a subset of b here b is a subset of a no when we say b is a subset of a all the elements present in b are present in a then we say b is subset of a here b is having the element 4 which is not there in set a so b is not a subset of a in this example a is subset of b here this is the important one any subset of a cross b is called relation from a to b to explain this i will take an example you see set a is 1 comma 2 set b is 3 4 5 you know how to calculate cartesian product of sets here this we learned this is cartesian product of sets a cross b i want to calculate first i written set a i written set b now i will calculate its cartesian product how to calculate you take one element first element here and you pair with all the elements of second set like 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 5 you can observe here 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 5 now you take the element 2 you pair with all the elements of set b that is 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 so this is a cross b now we are learning about relation what is relation any subset of a cross b so here i'll write few subsets of a cross b i'll take uh, one relation like this which is subset of a cross b i'll take uh, 1 comma 3 2 comma 4 here the point is you need to observe that is it is a subset of a cross b or not this r contains two elements these elements are there in a cross b yes 1 comma 3 is there in a cross b 2 comma 4 is there in a cross b so r is a subset of a cross b if r is a subset of a cross b any subset of a cross b is called a relation from a to b so this is a relation from a to b now i'll write one more subset of a cross b for example 1 comma 5 2 comma 5 2 comma 3 okay now the question is is it is a subset of a cross b yes 1 comma 5 s yes, present in a cross b 2 comma 5 present in a cross b 2 comma 3 present in a cross b as this is subset of a cross b this is a relation from a to b you observe here i take an empty set in sets chapter you learn that empty set is subset of every set so here is this empty set is subset of a cross b yes empty set is subset of every set so obviously empty set is a subset of a cross b so any subset of a cross b is called a relation from a to b so this relation r3 it is a relation from a to b because it is a subset of a cross b so this is also a relation from a to b now the point is like this how many relations we can write how many subsets we can write for this a cross b that many relations we can form you observe this is the point you learn in sets chapter if set A has m elements, then number of subsets of set A, number of subsets of set A is 2 power m. This is the formula you learn in sets. Now, you observe this example. Here, A cross B contains how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, how many subsets I can write for A cross B? 2 power 6. 2 power 6 means 64. I can write. 64 subsets of a cross b that means like this i can write 64 relations here the point is number of relations from a to b see this i'll take it as note one number of relations from a to b formula is 2 power number of elements in a cross b number of relations from a to b is 2 power number of elements in a cross b i hope you understand and second important note point is if r is a relation from a to a see you know r is a relation from a to b r is a relation from a to a r is a relation from a to a means r is a subset of a cross a see what is the definition of relation any subset of a cross b is called relation from a to b if r 
a set is a subset of a cross a then we call it as r is a relation from a to a so whenever you see r is a relation from a to a this is also called as r is a relation on a this we use very frequently throughout this chapter r is a relation on a r is a relation on a it means r is a relation from a to a from now onwards you will see this r is a relation on z they'll say that r is a relation on z that means r is a relation from z to z r is a relation on n it means r is a relation from natural numbers to natural number n to n these things you already learn in class 11th max in next class we will learn types of relations which are very very important in this chapter what is reflexive relation what is symmetric relation what is transitive relation all those things we will learn in second concept in next class thanks for watching this video if you like this video please drop a like and share this video with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe thanks for watching take care bye bye